We break the huddle tonight with the game of the year in the state's best region. Thompson fresh off an upset, trying to get back on track in division play, standing in their way, the mighty Hewitt Trustville Huskies. It's our game of the week. WVTM 13's Kerry Osip live in Trustville tonight. The winner of this one, Kerry, has the inside track to a division title. Guy, that's absolutely right. If you win this one, a midseason matchup, of course, but as you said, implications for postseason are on the line with these two. And as you said, too, the top two teams in this region with Hewitt Trustville and Thompson playing under the lights tonight. But before the action on the field, an emotional moment for Hewitt Trustville baseball star Grayson Pope, who overcame a brain and spinal cord injury suffered during a freak accident this summer. Pope made a return to a standing ovation in front of his Huskies, walking in with his parents. Huskies playing with Pope on their hearts, but also with regional implications on the line, as Hewitt Trustville hosted Thompson in a mid-season crucial 7A Region 3 game. Well, let's get to their offense. Trent Seaborn handing off to Arrington Green, who rumbles in for the first score. Thompson up 7-0. Later, the Warriors back in the red zone. This time, the ball in Michael Dujon's hands and the dog pile falling in for the score. It's 14-0 Thompson. I think this is what they meant with put him in the pound. Well, how about them Huskies? They're looking to score two. Peyton Floyd, the quarterback keeper, powers over the goal line. Hewitt Trustville cutting the lead 14-7. But then momentum finds its way back to Thompson. Trent Seaborn rolling right here, hits Colby Hearn, gets his feet down, and he's off to the races down the sideline. It is wide open spaces for number seven. Warriors take a 21-7 lead thanks to the speedster, but they would start the second half 24-7 with more to go. And that Colby Hearn would score two more times to have three touchdowns by the end of it. As the Thompson Warriors maybe unexpectedly, but win this one dominantly, 40 to 14. Mark Freeman, a four-peat state championship head coach, well, he had this to say about the win tonight. I mean, you go into the game wondering um, if, if what we've done, they'll remember the, the players, will they retain it? And you, you know, you pray that they retain the things we work on. And our kids did a great job tonight of remembering what we talked about in practice, especially on defense. Um, offense, we did a great job. We missed a couple We missed a couple blocks at, on the wide out. We felt like perimeter, we had to block out there a little bit better. We missed some blocks out there, but that's me finding something wrong. I'm blessed and happy that we got to win tonight. And carry a lot of action in 7A Region 3, the Hoover Bucks trying to get off the deck. Yeah, guy, coaches will not be shy about it. This is such a competitive region. Hoover getting a bounce back win for themselves, 62 to 14 over Oak Mountain. They needed that while Vestavia goes on to beat Chelsea, 45 to 21. You're going to want to keep an eye on 7A Region 3 throughout the rest of the season. But as of now, Thompson Warriors stand on top. Live here in Trustville, I'm Carrie Osef. Guy, I'll send it back to you.